Looking at temperatures 32 now, Selena, mostly cloudy conditions. Winds out of the southwest at 13 miles an hour. The barometer at 30 and 16 hundredths of an inch is what we're looking at. The dew point also coming in 24 degrees. We do have some light snow out there right along uh, I-80. These are basically just some flurries at this point. The big concern is going to be later on today as a cold front. You can see it uh, right now gaining uh, steam pushes into Pennsylvania coming in from the north, pushing down to the south. It will be weakening as it tries to move across the state, but the big concern at this point is that even though we're not going to see uh, snow showers for a couple of hours or anything like that, the 10 to 15 minutes that we're looking at for the snow coming in could be fairly heavy snow and could change driving conditions very quickly for some motorists. So there it is. This is at uh, seven o'clock or seven o'clock this morning, uh, just along uh, uh, the Erie uh, shoreline is what we're looking at. By five o'clock, you can kind of see that snow diving down. Doesn't look like much right there, but we will be looking at the heavy, uh, really kind of burst with snow. Temperatures tomorrow, man, it's going to be cold. We're going 27 for your expected high on Thanksgiving, down to 17 with a feels like temperature all the way down to about 12 or 11 as we're starting off the day. I say that because the turkey trot is also going on tomorrow. There's your current temperatures, 32, Pittsburgh, Denora 33, and Latrobe at 34 degrees. It's also 32 in Beaver Falls and Newcastle, containing coming in at 31 degrees along with Butler there. 34, your expected high today. Yes, we will have some snow showers around. We'll call it mostly cloudy, but there will be times we'll get a little bit of sunshine in here. It does look like we'll get more sun tomorrow, but I'm just going to call it partly cloudy cloudy at this point as well. Not mostly cloudy, but partly cloudy, especially with the cloud cover we're expecting in the morning hours. Now, why do we get cold? Well, we grab onto some uh, really some cold air out of Canada, and as that pushes in, it really pushes those temperatures down over the course of the next 24 hours. That's, I think, the biggest uh, story at this point, just how cold it's going to be on Thanksgiving. So if you're wondering, your lunchtime temperature about 25 on Thanksgiving Day, dinner temperature 22. All day long, it will be cold. There's your uh, seven day outlook 27 on Thursday, 43 on Friday, and a Saturday high coming in at 47 degrees.